This is an excellent case for having a float switch in a protective box because my flashlight fell in the bilge and it's preventing that float from shutting off. So there's my flashlight. Yeah. This is a great no, it's not in the box. This is a great one though. I have a question. Okay. Would you recommend um I never did fully comprehend those um check valves? Okay. Would you recommend a check valve on that so all that water doesn't keep kicking back into the bilge? Well that's what's happening right now, so we're pumping it out. And then you also have a void down here with a right. hole. Yep, yep. So there's water right. in your deep keel right there. So if so I had a check valve up there closer to the manifold, wouldn't that keep all that water from coming back in even if I had one? Well the check valve should be closer over here somewhere. Okay. Would you recommend putting one on there? Yeah, that'll keep it'll reduce the amount of backflow. Right. But also this hole that you've got in your false keel. Yeah. See where that water's coming up? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd stick a hose in there uh -huh. and pump it out with the hose of some sort. Uh -huh. So we've noticed that this is in your bow bilge yep. and it's here in the engine room bilge. Right. And I don't know if this platform right here is plywood or fiberglass over plywood. I don't know. Yeah. But off this funky stuff, yeah. off this debris right yeah. here, yeah that will retard the movement or restrict the movement right here in the hinge area. Mm. So that might make it stick at some time. Okay. And this is not pollution, this is just dust, dirt, grime. I'm so glad to do that. And it's, and it's in the water that's stagnant, right. and that's making it stink. Yeah, here's the top one. Okay, I so here's of, my flashlight. I sort of kind of um, cleaned that out once with the wet vac, and I pretty much had it dry at one